Uber drivers reveal secrets overheard in car. Mystery of stuff. 1. Two girls taking about how they fucked the same guy. Both agreed his dick was too big and he was hurting them by lasting too long, both concluded he was gay. 2. Two middle-aged couples trying to agree to a foursome. I picked up this young overly affectionate couple that spent the entire trip making out in my back seat and telling each other that they loved each other. Cute. So I drop off the couple and head on my way to pick up my text fare. I hear a cell phone ring in my back seat, realize it's my previous rides and pick up the phone to let them know I have it and I'll come back to drop it off. Turns out it was the guy's wife phoning to check in on him while he was on a business trip, which he was thoroughly enjoying with his mistress. Once I had an extremely drunk middle-aged couple fight for an entire 30-minute ride. They attempted to bring me into their fight many times. I just pretended like I was deaf and didn't answer when they tried to rope me into it. Once I had two girls and a guy declare their love for each other as friends and saying they should hang out more often when they got in the car and by the time I dropped them off they hated each other and never wanted to speak again. My tongue was bleeding by the end of the ride from trying not to laugh my ass off. I cracked a few smiles, I wonder if they ever noticed. They were fighting over the new football coach at the local uni. Passenger here, not driver. I live in NYC and I had to call the suicide hotline while coming home in an Uber from work because it was only place where I could be more or less alone. I am so thankful to the driver for being patient while I was crying and saying really fucked up things. It was so obvious it was the last thing he wanted to deal with that night. I picked up a guy from a gay bar and he was noticeably coming on to me. He then confessed that he was one of the founders of a very popular gaming company and offered me $2,000 to come up to his room. He also refused to leave my car unless I kissed his hand. Fun times. Took this 19-year-old kids and what I assumed was his GF back to her house on Pride weekend in SF. They made out the whole ride. When I dropped them off, only she got out. He said take me to Castro on 18th. I said really and he said yeah, I only make out with girls when I'm rolling. Never a dull moment in San Francisco. It wasn't so much weird as it was random, but my first night driving for Uber slash Lyft I picked up a dude at 2.30 am that was finishing up a pub crawl. The dude was dressed in a purple dinosaur onesie and was hammered. He got in and started telling me his entire life story and how he came out to his parents and moved across the country the next day. Two 40-something guys who I picked up from a bar were talking on a phone, speaker, and they were trying to make plans with a third guy who was at a party with a bunch of drunk 12 graders, exact words. One guy in my car asked if there was anyone younger there, other dude said dude really, followed by silence, then he said fucking sweet. Not sure as there was missing context, but it sounded like there was younger teenagers there already drunk and these older dudes were going to pick up. Picked up a drunk guy on St. Patrick's Day. He was talking about his boyfriend and asked me if he should break up with him for being a money-grubbing whore. He then proceeded to tell me about the two dudes he was going to cheat on his boyfriend with that night. Just a weird set of conversations. Not quite the question, but I feel very sorry for the Uber driver who had to drive my drunk ass home while my ex railed into me for changing the karaoke song he was going to sing. I was crying and he was screaming while subtle jazz played through the speakers. I had an in-depth conversation about first times in the drive through a jack-in-the-box with a girl who just lost her virginity in a one-night stand with a dude she had the hots on. I turned off the meter and added her on Snapchat, we became mega brothers immediately. I drove a lot of college-aged girls that were looking for slash had a sugar daddy. They wanted 30-year-old men no children, good job, willing to buy them lots of things slash pay rent, bills. I had no idea this was so popular, but practically every girl that age that opened her mouth about a guy in my car went on about his age, job, and money. One girl even admitted to fucking someone with the same name and of the same age as her dad. My husband had a couple that broke up in the backseat of his car while driving for Uber. 
The woman made fun of her boyfriend's ex and was talking about how she had bad teeth. The boyfriend said her teeth were fine and that she was being really judgy. She then asked him if he was still in love with his ex. He thought for a moment, said yes, and she started crying. There was some kind of confusion about where to get dropped off since she just wanted to go home and he wanted to go somewhere the opposite direction. Super awkward for my husband. My dad was a taxi driver for around a year. He once picked up this woman with two children. The woman put both kids in the car and ran back in to grab her pushchair. My dad drives off thinking that she was in the car and starts to talk to her. He then realized oh fuck she's not in the car. He drives back and it turns out she was on the phone to the police saying a man's drove off with my kids. He got back and she was fine and they laughed about it after. Quite the opposite, but just tried Uber for the first time two nights ago. We asked the lady what the craziest shit that's ever happened to her was, she was pretty. She proceeds to tells us a dude grabbed her fab and tried to force her to kiss him. Luckily she has some sort of brass knuckle thing and it put a hole in his cheek. Jesus fuck that gave me such a justice erection. I picked someone up here in Memphis and took them to a shady apartment, they came out smelling like some really good kush, I asked them to go back in and get me some. Got paid, got weed, and got a new dealer out of it. Picked up a guy last night that confided in me that he was afraid people of lesser races were going to steal all his shit. The rest of his family who were in the car promptly told him to shut up and apologized for his behavior. Mystery of Stuff